Hey there, this is Jacob from RoboFlow, here today to take a tour through the RoboFlow universe. So when you go to universe.roboflow.com, what can you do with all these different projects that you have available for you? So here you can see that we have a bunch of different projects. Some of these are our favorite projects, and these are all the public facing uh, views of projects that are being worked on actively in RoboFlow. So you can um, obviously use the RoboFlow app to make your own projects, but you can also go in and leverage these projects that other users have already been using. So let's go ahead and see what we could do with this playing cards project, for example. So here we can see that um, Ritesh at Augmented Startups has already uh, created a data set to do object detection of uh, playing cards. So, you know, maybe we decide we don't need to reinvent the wheel and uh, we can go ahead and just leverage this uh, data set and models that he's already made for us uh, for our own use cases. So here we can go to images and we can check out some of the images that are in the data set. And you can see there's different playing cards that are, are labeled here. In the uh, data set tab, we can see the different things that Ritesh has been working on as he's versioning and training models. So you're gonna, here we can see that we have a pretty performant model that we can use uh, for playing card detection. So let's go ahead and jump in and uh, do some live inference with, uh, with cards here that are, that are in real life. So if you have a model that you think is something that could be uh, applied in sort of like a real life scenario, like, like from your webcam feed, you can use this example web app, which we'll go ahead and try this out real quick. Um, or sorry, the um, example uh, webcam, this use your webcam uh, right here. So we'll go ahead and first sign in. Uh, you can sign in, I'll sign in with my account here. And if you uh, don't have an account yet, you can uh, create a new account. And then uh, this will load uh, the model into the web browser for inference on your on your webcam. So you may have to go ahead and enable that. Um, I think I already have it enabled here, but we'll see if you can detect this uh, king of diamonds uh, that I have waiting to, to challenge it with. So here we are live. Yeah, we can see the, the King of Diamonds boxes are, are being found. This latency is a little low because I'm, I'm recording a Zoom at, at, at the, the same time that, that this is going. Uh, but yeah, the example web app, that's a node package that you can integrate into your, your software that runs underneath that. Uh, the other thing that you can do is uh, check out the example web app. So once you've signed in, uh, you'll get the model path here. And along with the model path, you get your API key. So this API key will be used uh, to monitor the, the usage uh, that you're using with this inference API. Um, but the other thing uh, uh, to keep in mind is that I, uh, I'll actually revoke this so you guys can't do uh, infinite uh, inferences on, on, uh, on my dime with this API key. So yes, yeah, so you have the model path here, the version here, and the API key here. And this all posts a request to the RoboFlow inference servers where these public models are all hosted. So we'll go ahead and uh, give this a try with this uh, cards.jpg. And we'll go ahead and uh, load that up. And then we can specify some different parameters here that we can use in the API, like min confidence, uh, the overlap for NMS, the stroke width. Some of these are, these are all documented in docs.roboflow.com. But you can try it on your own image here. You can get an image result or a JSON result. First, we'll get uh, the image result. And we'll see here it's inferring. So that took a, a few seconds just as the server spins up. So uh, obviously, if more people are using this, the servers will all stay hot. Um, and then you can also hit a JSON response. So this will uh, show you kind of the, the different bounding boxes that you have on the image. So you can go ahead and throw any images uh, or video uh, images that you have here um, to, to test out the model on, on RoboFlow Universe. So that's the inference side of things. Um, obviously there's more things you can do with like the data set health check. Um, and of course you can always download this data set. You go to data set download and you can, um, you can fork data sets and you can kind of build on this. Obviously this whole thing will be, be getting a lot more collaborative in the future and uh, stay tuned for, for all the changes that we're going to be making to RoboFlow Universe, but uh, this acts as just kind of a quick tour and um, uh, happy training and, of course, uh, happy inferencing.